Hi guys, Dr. Strom here. So today I'm gonna to be talking about some non-injectables um, that we can use for our needle phobic patients. I'm mainly gonna be talking about those non-injectables that are gonna help with gingival discomfort for those non-major uh, treatment procedures. All the other major treatment procedures, then there's gonna be, have to be some sort of injection that can, or Sometimes not, but I can go over some possibilities with those as well. So the first one is going to be called UltraCare, which is a 20% benzocaine product. And it's going to be introduced into the periodontal pockets using a um, specific tip. Now, if you want to place it on the mucous membrane, then you're going to be using a swab technique. Now, this is indicated for minor irritation and minor dental procedures. It does have a rapid onset. Um, and the duration is about eight to 10 minutes. So the second non-injectable kind of gel form anesthetic is called Oracix. Now Oracix is a combination of lidocaine and prilocaine, and it, that's in a liquid state, but it turns into a gel state once it's placed, and this extends the effects of the anesthetic. Now the Oracix requires a special applicator, and it uses a metal and much wider um, tip for placement. Now the combination of the lidocaine and prilocaine is what gives us its onset, fast onset within about 30, 30 seconds, and a duration of approximately 20 minutes. Now the third one is called cetacaine. Now cetacaine um, is in three uh, forms. It's called uh, it's a liquid, gel, and spray. So the liquid form is going to be placed through the periodontal pockets with a, with a syringe tip. Now, this onset is going to be extremely, like, immediate. And so, and duration um, is a little bit longer. So it's actually going to allow us to do more of our deep SRP cleaning. So the, on the duration is about 30 to 60 minutes that it'll last. So that's great. Now, the gel form, you're going to be using a, a swab technique and placing it on the, the mucous membrane. And this is for other treatment that doesn't need to um, have any injection. Usually you use this maybe before you actually do an injection. And then the spray form is usually used for a patient's gag reflex. So the flavoring, there's a little bit of flavoring, it's favorable, but it helps patients kind of reduce that gag reflex. So those are the three types of non-injectable anesthetics that are mainly used for minor treatments or SRPs to kind of give the gingival a little bit more comfort during the procedures. So those are my tips on making your, your needle phobic patients a little bit more comfortable. We have those non-injectable um, anesthetics. We have um, some laser dentistry. We have certain types of sedation. But what it comes really down to, um, and I've actually never had to use stronger topicals or anesthetics than what I use now, it's about really making the patient feel comfortable, talking them through the procedure maybe wiggling their mouth a little bit, making sure they're not thinking about the needle and trying to go around that aspect. So I rarely use nitrous, um, rarely use any kind of sedation. I really try to hone in on making the patient comfortable as possible. Alrighty, but if you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day, guys.